My name is Jaren, the founder and owner of the Jaren Emlinger Studio. And in this video, we're going to analyze, I can't even put it in words, Miss Layla Hathaway. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know how to describe her. She is, she is just a singing being. She is just a unicorn of voices. I just don't know how to describe her. You all have requested her, and I have been hesitantly looking for a video for her. But, I mean, she's a phenomenal singer. And the reason I was hesitating is because, man, what do I say about such a singer? But I'm super excited to analyze her. She is amazing. And she does so many wonderful things with her voice. And so, without further ado, I want to analyze Miss Layla Hathaway singing Ultimate Relationship by Donald Lawrence. So right there, she's already doing something amazing and she even started really singing any word yet. So what I think she's doing here, what I'm gonna call it, is almost a classical trill, like a classical music. So a trill is more so like a shift between two intentional, purposeful pitches. It's not vibrato. Vibrato and trills are two different things. So instead of that's vibrato right there, right? But if I wanna do a trill, I would do and so she said, mm -hmm. So she did that trill down below. Mm -hmm. I can't even do it as well as she can do it. But that's what she was doing down there. It's almost like a classical trill that she kind of applied to her vibe and to her music, to her aesthetic. So I love how she takes her time. It don't matter the speed of song. It don't matter how fast the song goes, how slow the song goes, what's in the song. She takes her time. She lets the song breathe. She is very, extremely, utterly musical in her approach. You also aren't going to hear her over push, overdo it, over anything. She's gonna give you what she gonna give you and you gonna like it or not, and we all love it for the record. But she's gonna give what she has, whether you like it or not. And that what she has is that low, sultry voice that she just possesses. She just like her father. I mean, that's what I was saying. She sounds so much like her father in her tonality and her timbre. But even in her approach with this song and how she is navigating her low notes, she takes her time, she lets the song breathe. And so she also has a lower larynx when she sings. When she sings, it's almost sitting a little bit on the low side versus kind of mid or high. And the low larynx coupled with kind of the retracted false vocal fold sound that she has. So her throat is really open and she has a low larynx. So everything sounds really open, almost like a canopy. It's just, you almost can lay in her voice and just, and just sit there, you know. I don't have that voice. I don't have that voice. My larynx is high. My sound is bright and forward. She has the opposite. <laughs> and she probably can sing lower than me too, honestly. But she has that low depth that you can just dwell in. It's really unique. And shout outs to lower voiced women. I have a special place in my heart for y'all. I love a good contralto, a good low alto woman, anything like that. I love classic, no matter what you are, classical, soul, R&B, jazz, gospel. I just always have had an appreciation for women who sing low and who still sound good, who aren't compromising who they are because if they have to sound a certain way, they're just singing what they got. And it is so good, I love it, I love it. It's about six and the 
and the sun is on its way up. I'm half asleep, waiting for your touch to lift me up. Nothing like the way you make me feel. It's about the music. So she did the trill again, feel. But she did a head voice trill right there, feel. And so she's infusing these vocal tricks. I don't even call them runs, they're tricks that she has. I mean, she has a singing a harmony by herself trick that we all know and love, but she has these vocal tricks that make her so unique, even more so than what she already is. And so just hearing her do these different things that most of the vocalists are not thinking about doing, who would have thought to do a classical trill in a gospel ballad like this? Number one, that takes a skilled, gifted singer to think to do that in a song like this and it make it make sense. This is great. This is great. It's about the things you do. Things you say to me in the AM. It's about the way. About the way. You hold me. The way you hold me. In the AM. In the AM. Something about the sweet. So right there doing that, there was almost a yodel or a glottal shift in each one. Each note was emphasized in a there was a, almost a yodel or a glottal shift or registration shift within each note of that trick, if you will, or that embellishment. I don't want to call them runs because everybody do runs. She does tricks. I just like that. She does vocal tricks. And so she had a little glottal yodel onset for each note and emphasized each note almost like an instrument. I don't know what instrument I would call it right now. It's going to come to me, but almost like an instrument that she did that. Okay. Phenomenal. Are gonna try to execute that and tell you what she did note wise you just rewind it and do it yourself what she did there is if you hear am, so the am is almost one word when she sings it in this regard instead of in the am in the am in the am and so she navigated through that whole diphthong within the phrase am she navigated that diphthong while she was doing the run so the tongue was shifting while the voice was shifting down don't know what i'm talking about in the morning time yeah This is the way to start the day. Oh, raptured in love, Jesus, your love, it takes me away. Oh, love, the way you call me. <laughs> so she came from a head voice and did a scale. I don't know what kind of scale it was, but she did some kind of scale that came from head voice. She shifted registration to chest voice and came over an octave, well over an octave. She came from ah to here. So she navigated through head voice, registration shift, chest voice, and back down and hit each note seamlessly. Nothing like the way you make me feel. Oh. I love you.
in front of each note. I don't even call it a run. I keep forgetting not to call it a run. That was a vocal trick. I would call that an embellishment. I don't want to call it. It's phenomenal. I don't care what it, I don't care what it's called. It's phenomenal. She had an H in front of each note that she went up on and then came back down. And each note was placed well within the chords, well within the theory of the song, the music theory of the song. It's very important when you do runs to understand how to navigate musically through the song so you know how to place your runs pitch-wise because you have to understand where the song is going to understand how to run to it. It's almost like, I can't run aimlessly. I'm a bump into something physically. So if I'm running aimlessly with my voice or doing something with my voice aimlessly, I don't know where I'm going or if I know the song enough, I shouldn't be doing no kind of run trying to embellish and be all cute because I'm going to get lost and bump my head into something trying to do it. You know, it's that same concept. Know where you want to go when you do a run. Have a beginning and an end. Know where you want to start or you want to finish. Okay. And know what to do in between. Okay. And knowing doesn't always mean like mapping each note out, but knowing how you want to navigate through that. And a lot of that comes with experience. It's not so much I'm going to sit down and write each run out now you can't write each run out have at it if you want to but most people are experienced enough to know how to navigate through certain chordal structures chordal patterns because they have enough experience musically and intellectually to understand how to navigate through those little chordal structures and things like that she clearly knows the song enough obviously to sing the way she is singing on here you know She is like butter. She's like butter when she sings. It's just, it's just so billowy and so comforting and so warm. She's phenomenal. Remember to click subscribe down below and click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And keep submitting your requests. I see them. I'm getting them. I'm trying to do them, y'all. I'm trying. So as always, remember to be vocally bold, creative, and aware. But most of all, be vocally you. All right, y'all. Until next time.